Well, here we are under the seat on Kubota L6060. And this is where the manifold goes here to kind of under this pipe and over there. This particular machine I'm building is also getting a third function valve, which I'm going to remove this pipe, put some fittings in that are going to run the valve to the third function. So I wouldn't normally remove this pipe ahead of time because you do have some room to get under here. I would normally take this grounding thing out of the way anyway. <clears throat> but because I'm going to have to take that pipe out of there anyway, it's only going to make my life easier to get this manifold on. And I'm going to shut up now. All right, here we go. We have a 27 millimeter wrench. And you're going to want to finagle it under that knot the best you can. Yeah, don't worry about that hose. Put that hose right there. All right, there we go. That's meant. See, so I cut this for this very specific reason. And you're going to want to be careful doing this because it slips out sometimes. There we go. 24 there, 27 there, 30 millimeter there. Or you're not going to be able to crack that nut without cracking your nut. Right, that one's loose. Ooh, even with a long wrench, it's still... I got sick and tired of trying to break it free with all my might. And I got that bolt out too. And it's going to make a mess here. Yeah, you want to make sure your three-point hitch is all the way down to keep the mess down. And this is just kind of experiment. And I know it's only going to help. And this is not a how-to video. Yep. And if you do find yourself here, all you have to do now is just take your big wrench there, put it right there on that nut. And just, see? Just give that hose a little, a little something, something. Jiggle it. Jiggle it. Come on. Do a little more. There we go. Just keep jiggling it. Quickly put your finger on the other end to keep any more from leaking. Quickly grab your rag. And we'll just put that there to hopefully soak most of that up. Nothing we can do. Guess we can take this pipe and pick a bucket. Yep. Yeah. floor rag all right so now I'm gonna bench build my manifold so that means I'm gonna have to open up all those owners manuals get all the o-rings out and uh next frustrating part begins. Hope you all enjoy the show. And thank you all very much. Well, that next frustrating part I was talking about. Let's go check it out. It's like you gotta put the three point links on. Take it out of the driver. Any husky. How's the angle here? Feels alright. Yeah. So the return pipe on the manifold comes here. I need to pop this plug out. But the real problem is. A little tiny M screw that goes right here. A mud wasp 
has filled its hole. So I'll have to clean and chase those threads. Ah, oh, mud wasps. Very common predator out there in the world. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and getting a little tiny M thread chaser in there. It's always a good time. Uh, I got that thread chaser. We have our manifold here. And turn pipe inserted. And to insert that into there is the same technique. We're going to insert that into here, which is more difficult. Keep these times down. We'll stick to the more difficult stuff. Now we're going to go down here carefully without disturbing those o-rings on the bottom bring this baby up and in it's like your last time to check these o-rings still there give them a little squeeze all right now we're gonna hold that block up there and now we're gonna have to jiggle we gotta jiggle this one in Hold down there. I'm gonna keep this up. And now we're just gonna have to jiggle it. I like twisting. And there we go. It pops right in. So twisting and pushing. Twisting and pushing. Let it pop in. Don't force it. That's my best advice. to get up in here a little more. Yeah, the beat part contortionist. because we have that reinforcement bracket at the back to install. We're just gonna get these started. Just gonna get these started. Nice and easy, no torque, just so it doesn't really wanna churn anymore freely. Perfect. To the back. Get that reinforcement bracket on there.
Not too bad. All right, we're back at another fun point in time. Got all the oil rings in. All right, let's get our cap here. Two super long, three long, two super long, and for the bell. That might be that I could have you near. You can mm -hmm. live on that easy. Like that, the hole. Alright. Now what? Is that one of the bells? I'm gonna straighten all these spools up. Many times that you refuse. Just like a puppy. Be here waiting on your love. You don't got a call. Or do anything at all. Get those nice and straight. Pass beneath my window. As I will hear you from above. You can come around. Oh, we got something here. An hour of the day or a Fluid film, Grace. Oh, where's my spray bottle? There it is, right behind me. Alright, we'll just use the Grace. Do -do. That one's basically going to go there. Three, two, one. One, two, three. That's just what you feel like you would do. As if you just take what you want from me and leave me. Well, that's the same as if I'm you. to find and they like to go freaking flinging and number one and we'll be listening to Molten Soul artist Jean Rocher Two. 
Try something different this time, folks. <sighs> Not only was getting this in there difficult enough, but trying to get these pins in there after with these pins. You know, when you're back there trying to get these, it's freaking miserable. So maybe the more we bench build, the better. I know it's gonna add some difficulty. Yeah, and all three of these rods are all the same way. Okay. So, don't have to worry about mixing those up. You know what, I know, I know the ROPS model gets this particular one. Oh. My gut's telling me something ain't right. That's got a kink in it for the Rob's model. I need another one of them straight pipes. What do you say, Richie? No, well, everything looks good. My guess is Kubota made it. Probably use the same base kit for both models because they just probably changed this a little that's my guess because look at they all line up perfect uno dos tres all right all this put together this put together this in pins in we have these in all i have to do now is uh I'm gonna go get the O-ring set in place over there. Let's put the big ones and the little one. It shouldn't take too long. We're getting low on dielectric grease. See how my backup satellite supplies looking. We need supplies. I know, I can hear, hear you guys saying in your head, because in my head, I say the same thing every time. Just take this plate out. Your life will be so much easier. It is, but it isn't. All right, you want to give it a try? Let's do it. Yeah, 
the end of this road. She just went in that door. More. Yeah, the trick to the snap-on ratchet is put it on, give it a loosen in that way, then hit the button. Because if I put it on and then put some pressure on it, might not break it free. So you go like that, you get back up. Gives it a little time to get going. believe in those don't believe in those YouTube videos out there that discriminate it. that's my baby seems like the valves like right here it is totally raspberry jam either way either way now and then I just do it again just to reassure myself I'm not completely out of it yeah, so now you just want to smear this dielectric grease thin coat everywhere and then just use that thin coat to kind of fill those kind of corner grooves in a little bit where the o-rings are gonna go it's gonna create a vacuum Definitely need music during this part. Come on, turn on. Oh, yeah. I just love the toot to this song. Good tune. No idea how this is gonna go. Could go horrible. If it goes good, and if it goes good, it'll save me three micro headaches from trying to get them in. We're we gonna do this.
Alright, switch the hands here. Putting these levers on ahead of time was, was helpful. Kind of getting closer. Oh. Mm -hmm. About the wrong way. Let's try coming in from behind. I can't get it from the side, so maybe sliding in from behind. Heavy little bugger. I uh, won't. Mm, no. That one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. Going up and in. It's going up and in. I feel like I'm hitting something. Oh, I'm hung up on a. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> it's like the end of that little bar. I'm hung up. I'm not fucking screwed right there. Oh my god, I got it. I undid it. Thank god. I'm playing the lottery tonight. Oh my god, look at Alright. It worked out. It worked out. So we got all those all rings and blues. That's time to check. Sorry if the lightning's not anything but perfect. Can't make, can't make this up. Yeah, now you're trying to sc screw. Come on. Whew, that's a long bolt you're trying to start by hand. Get that one started. This one started. Lesson learned. If you can't get in from the side, you can always get in from behind. Yeah, I'm like using my thumb against my finger here. Not a lot of room. Not a lot of room. You know, if they made it so like this fender would just come out. Do a lot of things to make this, or just like this whole corner should come out. Something needs to happen here. Oh, yeah, that's good to start. Yeah. Right up on my gear wrench. Is in my pocket. Huh? Huh? It wasn't my bucket. 
pin pocket. There. Here we go. Now you gotta use a gear wrench in there. Twelve mil. I'm glad that worked out. <clears throat> and if you over torque these bolts here, these spools will get stuck and you won't be able to lever these up and down. And definitely don't want to cross thread these. That'd be bad. Don't go crazy right now. Let's just get them all close to home. We'll get these valves done. And then we'll start working on the loader. We'll get the loader brackets on, get the third function valve done. That way all these bolts are right here. I'm not climbing underneath the tractor. I'm not fighting against the tires. So. Work methodically, I save a lot of time. Yeah, and wearing this GoPro, the only way this GoPro works is if I hustle. You know what happens when you hustle, you make mistakes. So I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all are healthy, doing well. My manager isn't feeling well today, so. Send your prayers. I got these pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Like I said, I'm just using a gear wrench. That goes up and down, that goes up and down, that goes up and down, that goes down, that goes down, that goes down. down. Alright, let me see if I can go any tighter. That feels good. Yeah. Still working, still working. Oh, I feel pretty tight. That feels good. Alright, one more time. That is good. Surprised if these aren't sticky now. Uh, the machine was good. It was a triple checked. One more check. Witness marks, right? Ooh, that's tight as hell. <sighs> Rip through my hand if I go any tighter. It was good. They didn't even move. Looks like, but stay healthy. Repairing your enamel with Pronamel Repair. Our most advanced formula lets you brush in vital minerals to actively repair and strengthen the enamel. So you don't just brush to clean, you brush to clean. Pronamel intensive enamel. I'm gonna just put it. Alright, it's on the ground. Never hurts to look back at the picture. See, I did. It's like you have to like study the little bracket. First lever kit. Same before this piece is very particular. Long way goes this way with the pin towards me. 
See, it's got an X and an arrow. This is gonna go in there like that. Number one. Number two. Two. Kind of looks the same way. Short that way, long this way. Number three. Is almost backwards from the other two. So the long way goes that way. Short way facing me. Can't stop now. I'll take my spray bottle. I have to get a new brush. build as much as possible because I've done it the other way around you know putting this bracket up in there and then trying to put all these pieces in there while this is in there yeah no yeah no tell me don't play that my remember says one two three one two three number one remember we're going to need a washer and a pen. Once again, trying to put this installed in the cab and then trying to reach in there and get this pin and get this pin and washer on. It's doable. Yeah, but don't. All right, number two. Flam was slippery. All right, number two. Number one, number two. Because that's how they have one, two. All right, number three. Washer. Pin. Yeah, because these washer and pins are like on the inside. When this thing's bolted up and in there, it's a nightmare. These three are facing the seat. So these will be much easier to get those metal pieces on with the washer and pin that's left. All right, so we got that bench built. Doesn't matter where this goes now. I'm going to put it right here. Next. Oh, that we can bench build. We can bench build this. All right. Okay, we can fuse. We can always go back to the original picture. One would have been. Na, 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 na. Yeah, would have gone there with the spacer there and the spacer there. But what we need is this. And that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go there. I'm gonna spray this fluid film like a. 
Kind of I don't remember this song. I don't remember this song. It looks like his YouTube channel went through some changes. A bunch of stuff's erased. What's going on here? What's going on here? I don't want to go on. Of course it does. Okay, okay no problem. No problem. Got this. Got a high side. Put the GoPro on. Look what happens. One, two, three. I can almost feel it right away. Fluid film all over my hands. Now all over my head. I think that's it. Slippery. It doesn't want to go and don't force it. It's almost trying that trick. Feel it. This file's so dull, it's only going to take out paint and sharp edges. You feel it right there. See? See that's Nothing's happening. There you can hear it's happening. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Careful with rags, rags like to pick up these little pins and send them flying. I've done it. All right, so now we need to go back to pan one. That guy goes there. Snap ring. Remember, sharp side, round side. Sharp side out. Sharp side out. build and we'll get all this installed two bolts two bolts Oof. light's terrible all right we'll come back for the more important on adjusting all right I got those lever mounts mounted All right, let's do this. Oh, don't lose them. Oh, I'm going to need some tools, too. I know it. I think we're going to need a 14. It never hurts to have your adjustable around. 
I think I need two twelves. Dude, you know, look at that nice shiny 12. You can't miss that. Let's put these down before they all go flying. <clears throat> Did one already go flying? Oh, there's two right on top of each other. Do we need my gloves? All right, we'll take the gloves off. We're moving gloves. The fact that none of those things go flying on it. Yeah, I started putting these rods on. I'm like, you know what? Maybe something, maybe something can go wrong. We can all learn something. Some new and those pliers for this last one. So far in there. If you do rev up that throttle, rev it back down. All right, let's do this. All right, that's number one. This is number one. So I'll just start off here. You know, I like to drop the hardware on the floor first. You know, this wire harness actually is it. It's like they know you're getting extra valves and they already have this little, uh, these little clips right there built in. Boop. How far did that nut go? Look at it right there. It's gonna happen to you. A couple of twelve. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> this piece of metal here should be level with parallel with that piece of metal there. So you know what I'm gonna do. It's looking nice and level. That looks good. Maybe one more. What if we do it one more time? It just looks more level. We'll leave it alone. Yeah, without driving yourself a headache, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, level, level. Looking. It's gonna look good. Tight as F. All right, every time I got my 14 with me. We're gonna do a whole, this lever. We're gonna try to hold this 14 that way a little bit, tighten this nut up, and then tighten the 14 against the 12. All right. it's, got little, it's got a little free play, it's not like pushing one way or pushing the other. Feels pretty good, how's it work? What's new? Number two, number two in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that's way angled up. Mm -hmm. 
That's like four times how we looking now. That looks pretty good. I so said, don't think you need to get your laser levels out, your micrometers out. Yeah, you don't need to be losing sleep. Easiest, fastest way. Yeah, they probably give you some measurement in the. It's two twelves. I'm sure they give you some measurement in the owner's manual there, but. I feel like it's more difficult that way. I've done it. One more time. Just tighten that up. A little back pressure on that. Make sure that thing's kind of leaning that way. Tighten that to this one. And see how we do. See, we didn't, there's no, no play. That's got play. That has no play. We didn't do good. Let's get up and in here and try again. That's going there. That's going there. That feels good too. Still nice and level. Last but not least, for all of you that, well, what the hell you're running with three valves? Actually, yeah, I've done it. The drag behind Norman snowblower. I haven't seen a lot of those lately. What's this one looking? It's almost level right away. I think one turn tighter. Let's do one turn tighter. What's that like? That looks perfect. See. Just close your eyes and get us started. Alright, let me get up and on here. Careful. Careful. It's like a balancing act. Here. Yeah. Pretend like no one was ever. Back. Make sure that's kind of like that. Move back. Just take that against that. A little wiggle. Ooh, a little wiggle. Feels good. Alrighty. I think that's most of the difficult parts. Manifold, the valves. All I really gotta do is put this. It is getting a third function valve. And I'm just not gonna have the memory or time to do it. So, uh, we just focused on the three rack for now. I think I got plenty of footage on that, but yeah, I gotta do the third function valve next. Get some of those parts out of the loader here. Get my light off here. Yeah, clean this mess up. All right, what we gotta do? Fittings, bracket, hoses.
Oh, 15% battery not looking good.